stage dive to Fangorn Forest was the, the best part of working in Abaco. It was such a great adventure. You know, the, the cave diving nerd in me absolutely just loved the fun and the challenge of that dive. That is a dive that takes an hour to get to Fanghorn Forest. That's an hour of swimming underground in a cave away from the sun. It's more than half a mile. It is a long, long swim. That's a lot of distance from the entrance, and that definitely goes through your head when you're experiencing it. So it's an hour in, you have 10 minutes to work because that's all the time you have for decompression and for gas supply. Then you have to turn around and you have a half a mile back out, another hour swim. And then when you get back to the entrance, you're not just uh, gonna get out of the water. You have to do an hour of decompression, just sitting there looking up going, I wish I could go up there, but I can't. Just the decompression alone, I think was over 90 minutes using multiple gases just to reduce the risk of getting the bends. To do the dive, each diver needs five scuba tanks. So you start to dive with five scuba tanks and you sort of shed them along the way. It's called stage diving. So you will breathe a tank down a certain amount and then you'll leave it on the line and then you'll keep going. Then you'll breathe the next one down. You'll leave that one on the line. And then when you come back, you pick them back up again and you get to breathe more of the air that's in them. So it's sort of a process of stretching the five tanks over the whole dive, but not having to carry them the entire way because they slow you down. The number of people in the world that can execute a dive like that, there just aren't many of us. Thankfully, we had Brian K. Cook to help and assist with some of the logistics, but a dive of this magnitude, uh, it's no joke. It's very serious business. Uh, we're using multiple gases, we're using multiple tanks to get a half mile back into an underwater cave environment and to return safely. The payoff is that you get to be in what is most likely the most ornamented underwater cave in the known universe. It is just the most spectacular place that anyone will ever see. It is just an unbelievable and incredible environment. It is so beautiful. For whatever reservations people might have, if they were actually in these environments, just the beauty and extraordinary nature of these caves is gonna blow them away. It's never been filmed for giant screen ever before. And when you see it in a giant screen theater, as big as life, bigger than life in fact, uh, it is going to be just incredible to see a place that the technology to film this room in giant screen didn't even exist four years ago. It's an incredible, incredible experience both to do it and to see it.